guys, tutorials for OSX here. This is going to be a tutorial on how to change your dock. Um, as you can see down here, mine has um, mine's a carbon fiber sort of look on the dock, but um, then it has the uh, gas stove um, kind of blue flames coming up from where, um, just like the little dots you'd see on the normal dock, I have that um, as the uh, gas stove right there. So. Um, I made this myself as a mash from like five different docks that I had. Um, and what you could do is you could go to uh, this website. It's called uh, leoparddocks.com, I think. Um, and you can download a bunch of different uh, docks for here. It'll just come in a uh, folder like this. And it'll show like scurve-xlsm. Uh, it's like a small, medium, medium, large, extra large. It's for how big your dock is. Front line, I don't know what that is. Indicators, uh, you see like indicator large, indicator medium, stuff like that. Um, uh, and separator, that's this right here. So this is what it'll look like when you get the, the um, when you download them from leoparddocks.com. By the way, that'll be in the description. Um, but I just have this file here that I made and that's what's on my dock right now and how you apply this is you get an application called dock library which I'll also have the download link to in the description it's completely free and you'd click import right here and you'd navigate to where you saved it which me it would be uh, on my desktop right here um, and you just click open which but I already have that open these are all my docs that I have it gives a little preview image of them you don't have to do that yourself. It'll uh, take the images that are in there and give you a default preview of what it'll look like. And where's the one that I'm using right now? Right here, Dark Carbon. Um, uh, since these are custom, um, the gas stove, uh, you can't really see all of it. You can see a little bottom of it right here. But um, this is the original one that I took it from. Uh, it just has a little air right here, but I put it in the gas stove kind of right there. Um, but I got a couple other cool ones like that, Daft Dock. Uh, I got the Aurora Dock here. Um, but yeah, uh, so you can choose from whatever, uh, on leoparddocks.com, whatever docs you like. They'll have little previews there. You can just go ahead and download them. Uh, very, very easy. Um, and then go ahead and import them to Dock Library. And to apply them, you'd click on the one you want. You click Activate. And it would go ahead and change your dock for you. Uh, once it reloads back up here. Alright, so here's my change dock. You can see it has different background, different everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change back to the other one though because I like that better. But I do change them from time to time, just to tell you. So you might see a different one in one of my other videos. Go ahead and activate the dark carbon again. And it comes back up. It's the one I like the most. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload this file right here to Mediafire, and uh, that will be in the description to download my custom doc, um, and same exact process to apply it. So yeah, you guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, this is Tutorials for OS X, and see you next time, guys. Go ahead and quit this.